Hi everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel today. I am Terry, and I have a journal flip through for you. Uh, I made this journal for my friend Julianne. Uh, Julianne is uh, my friend and co-worker and she's also the lady that gave me all those greeting cards and she wanted me to make her journal using this card so I have it finished I've had it finished for a little while but I never got around to doing the flip through so I'm gonna do that now okay let's get started so she Julianne requested that I make the journal out of uh, this card that she gave me so the reason the journal came about is because last November when I had my girls for the my Christmas dinner I asked everyone to respond with a RSVP so I could know how many journals to make that I made them all Christmas journals out of a out of a greeting card. She did not respond, but she came in the middle of it. So anyway, Julianne didn't get one last Christmas for my dinner, so I made her one uh, now. And she didn't want a Christmas one. She wanted one made out of this card. So anyway, I will get started. So I made some a uh, little I guess they're called tassels. I don't think I've made tassels before. Although I think I made a, one that goes outside of the journal for my friend Tammy. So anyway, I don't have a way of closing it yet. So I'm going to either just leave it as is, which I did with the, the ones last year. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll get started. So this is the inside page. It's a uh, scrap of paper. Okay, so this inside cover is a uh, scrap of paper, and I also put it on this side. I see it has some, a little bit of a reattaching to do here. The glue I used might not have been the best glue. Next time I do this, I think I will use double-sided tape because it kind of, the glue made it wrinkly not wrinkly but not flat like curvy it made it curvy okay so that's the inside page so this page is a greeting card that I got a long time ago and I can't remember if it was Target or Walmart but anyway, it's a greeting card, and I just always like the color, and it's embossed. If, I don't know if you can see that. And then the inside is white, so I added a sticker to it. And then this is journaling spots. The background is scrap of paper. So I made two journaling spots out of a notepad, and then I put added some washi tape. So then this page is, so the next page is probably one of my favorite pages in this book. So this blue paper here is a, from a notepad and I just left, I just folded it up and I put like a label on the bottom and I put a, a stamp there and then I made the pocket out of scrapbook paper and this is scrapbook paper that I cut the shape out and then this is a tag I made from a journaling card with a sticker on it I rounded out the corners and then this is a this is an envelope and this is a, a puff out puffy pop-out sticker this is a pop-out sticker and then this is I cut this with my punch and then distressed it and then inside of here I 
uh, used some coffee dye paper that I had and I distressed it for some more journaling. And then this is a greeting card that I got from Dollar Tree. And it's a blank card and I just put a, a sticker on that. I think it's a lily. Or I'm pretty sure that's a lily. But anyway, I put a sticker on there. And then I put washi tape and family that I got out of a word find book. Then um, the background of this one is music paper. And I glued a pink heart, doily heart to the back. And then I this is a cut from a Project Life card. It's a beautiful life. And then this is, so this paper here, this pocket, is from the other end of this scrapbook sheet. Oh, I just noticed I put a washi tape there. Every moment matters. Okay, so this is from there. And then this is from a book I had. And I just added... So what I did for the back of the tags, for most of the tags, is since I've got all those cards from Julianne, like there must have been 4,000 cards, I'm using what I can as background for the tags. Just to make the tags a little bit more secure and also let them uh, have more journals, or be stronger for journaling. So this page, I, this is um, like an office paper. This is the front of this one. I put a stamp there and I didn't realize that after a while it still wasn't totally dry. So it's a little smeary, but it's okay. That's part of junk journaling. And then this is a piece from a uh, border that was in an ideals magazine. This is a part of a ledger with a butterfly sticker. On this side, I put a feather die cut. And then this page, this is a page from a book, the background, and I glued a napkin onto it. And then I taped a organza bag on it and made a tag. This is a tag I made before. I think I made this one about a year ago and it's also on a video. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Pooh Bear. And then on the back I put, I think I did this part when I made this journal. So this is a part of an old book and that is already distressed like that. I didn't add anything to it. And then I put a picture from a, from this book here. A 1923 Sears and Robot catalog. It's a reproduction. So I cut that from there. And then I added some ribbon lace to it. I've never used an organza bag before in any of my journals. So I'm hoping that it's, it stays put. So on the back of that page, I tore some copy paper and distressed it. And then I stamped a hippo on there. And then this page is made from scrapbook paper. So this is Pussy Willows from uh, another scrapbook piece of paper. And then the tag is from a wallpaper sample. And I adhered it to the back of a green card. And I distressed it. And this is a label that I had, and I distressed it as well. So I don't know if these are actually called pockets or corner tucks or I don't know. So then the center here is scrapbook paper. And here's the tangle. So this is the center of the signature. So this paper, this pocket, I believe is a Tim Holtz scrapbook paper. I could be wrong. It could be just be scrap paper that I had. 
and then I made a tag uh, out of uh, one of those cards. Uh, this is a scrap of paper that I got from Dollarama and with a another ribbon lace to it. So as you can tell, there's no real, not really any theme to this book. And then I folded this paper over to make a pocket, a side pocket. And then I, that's the other, like that's the other side of this paper. This is a double-sided paper. This is a picture from a magazine. And I also put uh, it on top the cards, greeting cards. This is another page where I made a journaling spot, and this is um, a fussy cut from a, I'm not sure if that was a magazine or a card, but anyway, it's uh, I distressed it. And then I made a belly band with a stopper here, and it's on the back of this paper and this is a tag that was given to be to me by my friend Tammy so she sewed along the sides so that's really nice and then this is the other side of the ledger paper this is an old stamp that I had that I got from a thrift store and then I distressed the edge So this is a tag from a gift bag, and the gift bag I used on my binder junk journal. And I distressed the edges, and there's some journaling spots there. This is a banner I made out of cardstock, scrapbook paper, and uh, lace. I like banners. I like putting them in. This is from a dictionary that I had. It's a smaller dictionary and I also distressed this. And then on the back other side of the music paper, I put this picture, uh, it's from a Disney book. And then this page here, I made some journaling spots. And then this is from uh, Ideals Magazine. And this is a picture that I found from a magazine, or not a magazine, a book with a journaling spot. And then this is one of the cards that she gave me, the cover of one of the cards she gave me. And then this is also a tag that my friend Tammy made. Put it in there. And then this is... Uh, The other side of the scrap of paper and I showed earlier uh, a stamp I got from a thrift store so I just put it on there so she can journal all around it and then I put a large moth or butterfly die cut on there and a little journaling tag and on that Inside of this, I put, this is from also an Ideals magazine. I just cut it smaller and distressed it. And then I put a little bag and some washi tape on it. And then a tag. And that's the end of it. And then I added this Handmade with Love sticker. And put my name in the date and I see this needs to be a little bit adjusted too. So my friends, that is the end of my uh, flip through. I hope you enjoyed it. And Julianne, I hope you enjoy uh, using this journal. I had fun making it. And I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, thank you for stopping by. Um, if you like this this journal if you like this flip if you like this video please leave me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing i would really really appreciate that 
It would really mean a lot to me. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Well, you guys have a wonderful Saturday, and I will talk to you later. Bye!